Oh, welcome! I am Brimstone, and this is Alucard, and this is the my little mini devil guy. So, let's get on with this, shall we? We are in the catacombs of unwanted misfit toys. Oh, wait. Christmas is over. Oh, it's where the unwanted toys and returns go. Ooh. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway. Uh, let's see. We had the combat knife, because so I wanted to see how well that would do. Familiars, and eh, I'll try the, the devil a little bit longer. Okay, let's go exploring. For some reason, when I jump, it wants... Very wants to stab to the ground. That's alright. Get the bloodstone. Which actually is my birthstone, uh, according to the Gregorian calendar. Let's see here. Equip... Improves blood healing abilities. So yeah, if I do dark metamorphosis or stuff like that, yeah, I can heal more. There's a weapon that we'll find later on that will actually help benefit us as well. Let's see here. So let's go this way. Why not? Where skeleton? Where did it go? Har har har. Okay, since when did were beasts like could extend their necks? Maybe it's a were giraffe. Uh oh. And we got bone arcs. Um. Wondering what it does? Well, we won't find out because that guy ran as a ninny when the demon here actually killed it. Awesome. Hey, the demon actually did something. Ouch. Oh wow, critical. I like this weapon. A little on the short range side, but it's really good. And monster vial. Blood skeletons. More monster vials. Blood skeleton. Okay. Heart max up, and like, uh, wow, this guy, well, these guys weren't doing so well, I mean, look like they were hung, sort of, more like tied to that plank over there, kind of like a half, oh boy, oh shit, <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun, so you got the gravekeeper here, and you got this guy, well, the Hellfire Beast, I believe that is Osmodeus. Or Osmodeus. It's a, one of the barons, or I think he was a Duke of Hell. He shows up in a... He shows up in a bunch of other Castlevania games. We have Lossoth. That name actually is a reference to Tolkien. Um... I believe Lossoth was an area, I don't know exactly where. They can catch on fire and burn. What's funny is, I believe Lossoth, the area is very cold, so I don't know how, what its association with fire is. Uh, there's another name this thing goes by, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it does make more sense. I like how these guys just catch on fire and burn to death. And. Why am I going the wrong way? I don't want to go this way. We get sirloin steak. Yummy. We just have to fight the hellfire beast again. Oh! Oh yeah, I can also summon pillars of fire if you can't tell. Oh, just die. Uh, damn kung fu fighter guy. Go kung fu fight something else. I'm busy. Ah. Ah, I think I'll stick with the axe. Let's go this way. Hmm. 
And we got jellies! Okay, slimes. I cannot be harmed by, um... Oh, that's just great. I can't be harmed by normal attacks. Hmm. And I'm out of hearts. That's a bad thing. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Come on, let me do the attack, please. Thank you. A little fire, Scarecrow. That works. That'll do. And we're Bonars. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yes, it fires this laser blar. Yeah, and when you kill it, the these guys try to run away. What's funny is they're also named Bonar. Don't ask me why. It's kind of like Ra Raiders of the Lost Art, except it's a skeleton de demonic cow skull that fires you know, energy bolts and you die. Yeah, just just like the Ark of the Covenant. Sure. Okay, let's go here. What's funny is, catacombs like this could be fi found... Well, not just crypts, you could find them in castles. Also, you could find them in churches. Uh, especially in the old days, it would usually bury like, uh, you know, prominent figures of the clergy and, you know, saints in these areas, their various attributes, and even some of their body parts were used for holy relics. Oh, and it's dark. It's likely to be eaten by Guru here. However, yep, it's time to use the MacGuffin power. Yes, it allows us to see. Oh, actually the fairy, I think, says something about this too. Hold on. So yeah, we want to be very careful here because we do not want to get spiked. Getting spiked is a bad idea. Alright. That should be good. And we turn on the lights! There we go. So that was pretty much the Echo Power in a nutshell. And more well or skeleton. Yep, that was the only place it was really useful for. Well, in its normal form. I did find out, I did find out, yes, you can later get a power for the bet that allows the echoes to actually do damage. Okay. We get a cross shuriken. Yes, we too can be shinobis. Karma coin, and more karma coins. Down, but I want to see if there's any other hidden, like hidden areas. Okay, let's go down. And might as well just show off what the Bible does. Bible power activate. The power of Christ compels you. I guess it is true what they say. The Bible can be uh, one sword and shield. And we get Strength Potion. Yay. I'll be honest, I hardly use the potions. Well, the Strength Potions and Potions, stuff like that. I really have no use for them. I mean, they're good in a pinch. And we get the Spike Breaker. And we get the Library Card. Now let's head back. Yeah. 
Kind of funny that's all we got from this area. Well, if you played this game, you know exactly what I got and know how important it is. Well, it's sort of important. It makes dealing with certain areas a lot easier, let's put it that way. Stabby, stabby in the face. 